Hey guys, so if you're new here or if you're not, if you want to hear me voice act, head over to our main channel, links down below. And if you don't, this channel's solely for TTS. Um, if you want to know all the details about what's going on, we have a stream up that you can go and watch, but let's just get into the video. We started playing a 3.5 EDND with a Fallout module called Exodus and it was going pretty well. We took the living world approach where players can roam and affect areas based on their choices in quests and travels. We were about 6 or so months in when my grandmother first asked about it further when I told her of the sessions of my first group. I told her it was a violent, 50s post-apocalyptic game full of mean people, blood and monsters. Normally she hates all these things. She one of those overly religious grandmas that tends to not watch anything that drops f-bombs or shows lots of blood. But since she loves history, murder documentaries, 50s and survival shows, she immediately got excited and wanted to play. I wrote her up a sheet and helped her make a character. She described her character as an elderly antiques dealer that's from Pennsylvania and was chasing a time traveling ship named the Eldridge that went missing in the 40s. She saw a show on the real life version and thought it would be cool to go after it in a story. She played an elderly woman that went by many names and constantly changed clothes so it was hard to track her down. We started off calling her grandma but she later named her Pistol Packin Grandma, or PPG for short, based on the song Pistol Packin Mama. She started off with about 20 caps and are in one garand since she did well with describing her antiques dealer story. Wearing a long brown duster and hat, grandma started her adventure at the Mojave since that's where the quest began. She got a job through a caravan after showing she had high medical skills and would be valuable as a nurse. She would be riding on the caravan to New Reno. The adventure went pretty normal until she came across three guys beating up a ghoul. I began reading out the scene and how interaction works when the first she she did was blow out the knee of one guy. He topples to the ground. She aims at his other knee and makes her demands. Get your friend and get out, or I'll blow out his other knee. The level 1 enemies took their lead pipe and charged her, she shot a second time, blowing out his other knee. She then points at the stunned enemies. Drop them and run, I mean it. Next shot is going to his liver. She rolls to intimate them with advantage and passes with flying colors. They drop their stuff and hightailed from the area. She helped the ghoul and bandaged him up, she was rewarded lumpy fruit and went on her way to get a long rest. The next in game day the caravan rides for a few hours until hitting a checkpoint. It was a small military base run by the rangers. As the lead merchant Hank focused on payment and paperwork, she decided to haggle for a extremely beat up jeep one so bad, it would easily go into a death wobble at 15 miles per hour. She is given the deal plus full tank of gas and didn't try to do rolls to find out if he was lying or not. Unbeknownst to her I plan to show her how mean the wasteland can be with this side quest reward. Her job was to exterminate the mole rat nest from the museum half of the base. She was given a key and told good luck. So to prepare, she had an idea and began to gather trash to create something I didn't expect. A trash bag based ghillie suit. Taking her place next to some garbage with a rifle and a wrench she found, she began her wait for mole rats. Once she saw where they were coming from, she decided to kill the three already traveling outside the nest. The first was taken out with a bullet, she missed the second and third shot. Grandma got bit twice, she shot and killed the second and immediately went for plunging the last one by surprise. Getting up from her kills, she scavenged the meat and caved at the entrance to the nest and told the soldier she completed the quest. He then gave her the jeep except there was a problem. A superior talked to him and would only allow half a tank of gas. She attempts diplomacy but fails. The superior introduces himself as Dante and tells her he filled it up so she could be on her way unknown to her. He broke the gauge to always say full. She proceeded to take it and begin her travels, delighted with her far more impressive reward than what the caravan gave. A few hours later the jeep putters to a halt and she realizes what happened. Me. You realize your jeep is out of gas and it's about two days walk to go back. Grandma, I don't care, they screwed me and I'm going back. Me, when it's morning? Grandma, no. Immediately. So through hellish conditions, raider encounters and low ammo, she comes across her caravan as it finally caught up, 
She uses her diplomacy to get their help with her situation. In return they get the geep. She succeeds with the generous trade and spend the next few hours going back. She arrives at the checkpoint doors and replies. You screwed me. The jeep didn't have a full tank. Now I want a second one with a full tank of gas after what you did. To set the scene for you. These were all level 6 rangers in full gear in a huge group of about 30. They are well armed with 4 snipers and 2 minigun soldiers. The rest had rifles and revolvers. Dante comes to the door it pretty much tells her the work was barely worth a jeep let alone gas and she should be thankful. They argue further and after a few failed diplomacy rolls, he got aggressive and said he'd shoot her if she doesn't leave. So she left and began carefully planning guerrilla warfare against the well-armed military base. She started by using her merchant connection to cut off trade to the base aside for contaminated food and radiated water. She returned a few days later with her armed caravan and replied. Alright Dante, if you want healthy soldiers you'll work with me. Now I want 4 jeeps and 4 full tanks of gas. He chuckles and orders the soldiers to fire warning shots at her. She immediately backs off and goes back to planning. Over the course of months, as I roll, she then learned that trade wasn't good at all the ranger faction ran settlements nearby, so she carefully began to fix all the problems of ranger ran settlements, carefully replacing the law with armed merchants and kicking out the faction. With good trade of food, water, weapons, medicine and the death of minor raiders causing problems. One by one she toppled the ranger controlled towns in quick succession. She then cut off the trade fully. She then returned to the base with her caravan fully armed with pipe rifles and jury rigged guns. Alright Dante, now I want 8 jeeps and 8 foo. She's interrupted by the fire of 5 soldiers who took first. Dante shouts your caravan will die after those acts of terrorism against us. As 2 shots hit her immediately, knocking her health to bloodied quickly. A slaughter of a gunfight ensured. To the shock of the caravan, Dante's men mowed down their people with the superior weaponry and skill. Between frenzied Brahmin and fleeing merchants, Grandma grabbed an escaped Brahmin and immediately escaped with the rest of the fleeing people. I expected her to give up right then and there since it nearly killed her character and slaughtered the faction she newly began. She calmed them down and gave a speech, citing the new towns they took. Booming trade and their sheer numbers, she proclaimed it wasn't an act of power what the soldiers did, but an act of fear for what they accomplished. She promised them riches doubling all they have already got and then some if they continue to follow her lead. Otherwise they made an enemy with the rangers at this checkpoint for the rest of their lives. With a fantastic speech, point and a few great roles, they were on board one more time. But now, we are fighting differently. She replies. No tabletop RPG is complete without beautiful models on the table and the best place to get models is from us. If you check the link below we have everything you could need for your magical realm. Only the finest of big titty wafers here. But if you're not into models or don't play with models we got you covered with subclasses such as the Gachimashi Wizards, the Simp Warlock and the North FC Fighter. Also we have started selling 5th edition adventures with our first one featuring Belle Delphine, the succubus that has poisoned the town's well and turned the villagers into simps. If any of that stuff sounds fun to you go ahead and check the link below but let's get back to the video. Over the course of a few days, they finally cut power to the base and wage her war, in quick successions, surrounding while throwing crafted molotov cocktails at generators, buildings, tanks and tents. The men were far too busy in a total panic to fight them in the fires, giving grandma and the merchants more than enough time to retreat. Buying a scope for Jair rifle, grandma focused on fitting the men for one final attack. Using the last of her crafting material, she made explosives and gave them to the men. Deciding on hiding herself on a nearby cliff, equipped with her trash bag ghillie suit, she stuck a large rusty pipe over the barrel of her rifle and went into place. Debuffed from contaminated food, water, lack of sleep, low moral and medical supplies, the soldiers were weak and low on health and good rolls after all the bad stats were calculated. The merchants made their first move at attacking the entrance, shooting at guards at their posts in such high numbers that even with low damage, it was chipping away great amounts of damage each turn. 
with Molotovs to push the soldiers back and Pippa Bums to blow the doors open, they breached the entrance and had full attention of the rangers. They began to pull out the big guns. Except unknown to them, Grandma began dropping the snipers with the help of her new scope. One after another she began aiming at their guns, legs and hands. With a stealth crit modifier, the ones who didn't die were too sick, crippled and damaged to get proper shots on the merchants. By the time they realized what was happening, it was too late. The base fell to the level 1 grandmom and a bunch of Pippa a full toting merchant NPCs. From ammo to guns and gear, merchants began looting the place of everything it had left over. Two rangers were left alive in the base, Dante and his bodyguard. As the place was looted, grandma had the two men stripped of weapons and ammo she then said. Alright Dante, now I'm tanking all the vehicles and all the gas. Shocked and in complete dismay, he is tossed from his own base and given freedom to go to the next town without prosecution. Grandma explained she felt the best tactic for keeping enemies is fear. She wanted to alive to tell the tale of what happened at that base. Grandma left the base with all vehicles. From motorcycles, jeeps to even water tankers, she had enough to make a hefty amount of money and repay the merchants. I was completely shocked at how I saw it all turn out. I've never had players go this depth or level of petty determination and tactics. I expected her to go rogue and maybe steal from Badgerwise or murder Hobbo at the first realization of what Raiders factions were, but didn't expect this. It took me an entire page front to back of notes and tally marks for me to calculate all the insane amounts of EXP she made. If I remember right it leveled her up to 8, putting her one level above the group I was already playing with. Afterwards, grandma then asked me to get her a glass of soda and said she'd like to play again this time heading towards military bases on her way to Pennsylvania. I mentioned the other factions of Fallout lore and Enclave stuck specifically. She said they should be purged the moment the Wasteland realized they existed. Her logic was that Vietnam was the moment she personally stopped trusting. They stopped being trustworthy after Agent Orange. She said. Well guys hope you enjoy today's video. We are going to assume you have if you have stayed to the end. Consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell if you really enjoyed it to stay up to speed with any and all new videos. Also check out the links below to our shop for some fat ass titties and our sponsor Rural and be sure to use a promo code at checkout so they know we sent you and you'll get 10% off. And until next time.